Hi, this is Rabbi Jason Holtz from Bromley Reform Synagogue, and I'm here with Cantor Janice Cohen from Congregation Or Hadash in Tucson, Arizona. And I used to be a rabbi in Tucson, Arizona at another synagogue, and uh, you reminded me yesterday where we met, and it was actually more on the way to Disneyland in it was, Los Angeles. It was. We were leading a group of eighth graders to Jewish Los Angeles, and we decided that it can't be a trip with eighth graders unless we take them to Disneyland. And since you and I were the only roller coaster lovers among the chaperones, we, we became fast friends ever since. There you go. So when I heard that you were in Ireland for the summer, you asked if uh, maybe you could come over to London and uh, come to the synagogue. And when I heard that, I got really excited that you might spend the weekend with us. So here you are, our Cantor in residence. So my first question for you, Cantor Cohen, what exactly is a cantor? Well, a cantor is Jewish clergy who is the one responsible for the prayers and the Hebrew chanting. And so in a traditional congregation, the cantor is the one who basically leads the service where the rabbi would be the teacher and the one who gives the sermon. In the reform movement, it's more of a team effort where the cantor does the singing and the rabbi does the speaking parts of the service and they do the service together and it's like crafting a piece of art. Okay, very good. Now, how did you decide to become a cantor? I was drafted when I <laughs> Who was... Who drafted you? When I was in um, high school, I mm -hmm. sang all the time and I used to be in the choir at Temple Emmanuel, the temple that you were working at in Tucson. And... After I went into university, uh, the man who had been the ritual chair of the temple asked me if I would come and be the cantor at his daughter's bat mitzvah service. Mm -hmm. And I said, girls can't do that. Girls are not allowed to be cantors because in those days there weren't many. And he said, at our temple, you can. So I, I did it for that one service, and they said, well, would you be our cantor for six weeks or so while we find a real one? And I was there for six years after that wow. because we just fell in love with one another. Mm. We, we just had a wonderful time. And then I decided to go to cantorial school and make it official. And now you've been a cantor all over the world, haven't you? Yes, I was in New York at school, mm -hmm. and then we went to the Bay Area, San Francisco area. And after that, I was married to a rabbi, mm -hmm. and we really did not like working at separate congregations. It was very difficult once our baby was born to say, good Shabbos, and you go there, and I'll go here, and we didn't have a congregation of our own. Mm -hmm. So we found a position in Sydney, Australia, uh, where he could be a rabbi and I could be the cantor. It was wonderful. Mm. It was so much fun to work together. And we loved living in Australia. And then it was time to make a move. Um, we ended up in Hong Kong, which was very different. Um, but it was still an American and British and a little bit of Australian congregation. Uh, there were no Chinese people in the congregation in Hong mm. Kong. Uh, but it was wonderful as well, a, a different experience. And then I ended up back in Tucson where I grew up uh, with Rabbi Lockheim, who is a friend of both of ours, yeah. and have been there ever since. Mm -hmm. Love it. That's great. Yeah. Okay. So since cantors are traditionally the one who sing some music during the services and they're the real experts on Jewish music, do you think you could sing something for us? I think I could. Twist my arm. Okay. <laughs> what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing a piece called Hashki Venu, and it's the version of Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep, okay. I Pray the Lord My Soul to Keep, but it, the Jews wrote it first. Hashki Venu Adonai Eloheinu l'shalom V'hamideinu malkeinu l'chaim 
O fros aleinu, sukat shalomecha, vetak neinu, veitza tova milefanecha, veho shienu, veho shienu, leman shemecha. And it goes on for another half an hour, mm -hmm. but I don't think we have time for that. No, that's okay. Well, thank you so much, and we're looking forward to having you this entire weekend as I our am cantor. I am so looking forward to okay. this. Okay, thank you.